question is also about your vision for the yes. future, and uh, but from a different angle. Um, I'd like to ask you actually if uh, Bitcoin is going to evolve into a ecosystem that everybody can use and that we can all benefit out of it. What are, in your view, the potential job opportunities for any people of any walk of life that can also benefit in the future? Because any new invention comes along with benefits for whoever wants to take advantage out of it. Yes. And in your view about Bitcoin, I just want to understand what's your view about Bitcoin and the job opportunities that can offer to whoever is really deeply involved and interested. And perhaps not just about becoming a programmer and a coder, which would be very beneficial, but maybe just a bit beyond that vision as well. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, to put it simply, I think um, becoming involved in this technology has to do with looking at which areas of society and which areas of our lives are touched by this technology. And what is this technology? It's money. So, which areas of society and our life are touched by money? You can work in those areas. I think there are a few. <laughs> everything, absolutely everything, is affected when you change one of the most fundamental technologies. When you change the language of money. Um, and that means that there will be opportunities for everyone. Right, right now, of course, you know, if you're, uh, you know, the barrier to entry for Bitcoin is ridiculous. If you happen to be a mid-thirties white privileged male with a lot of money, a bank account, a master's degree in computer science, familiarity with three programming languages, hardware, access to the internet, uh, and liquid cash, you can really take advantage of this technology. That's not how this technology becomes mainstream. That's how it becomes a nightmare, right? But look around you here. This is probably one of the most diverse audiences I've spoken to in the past few months. And you, you see that as, as things become more interesting and, and Bitcoin gradually becomes more heard in the mainstream, more and more different people show up. So when I went to the first few meetups and I met with people, they were weird, like really, really <laughs> weird people uh, came to these things. Because I mean, who who jumps onto this weird, quirky technology that's really only for programmers? Um, a lot of the edgy libertarian community, um, yeah, very, very weird. But it's getting less weird with time, right? And when, when I was talking to people in the beginning, I'd say, "Have you heard of Bitcoin?" And so, first generation, first couple of years, were like, "What? What? Bitcoin? Bitcoin? Bit? bit what? Bitcoin? No, I haven't heard of it." By year two, though, things are getting interesting. Now the answer changes. Have you heard of Bitcoin? Oh, yeah, that's the money people use to buy drugs. <laughs> Great. We've broken through to mainstream consciousness. <laughs> and several other layers of consciousness that can be achieved by purchasing things on the Silk Road. Um, but you know, gradually the audience is changing, and then Suddenly, over time, you start meeting people in, in this space who strike you as um, very normal. You know, I'm starting to meet people at meetups, and I ask them, "What do you do? Are you a programmer? Do you work in the space?" No, I'm a dentist. Um, no, I install air conditioners. No, I'm a hairdresser. And this is happening to me all the time. So now these people are still involved in. Um, wealth preservation, investment, fascinated by the technology, internet trends and fads, or something like that. But gradually, you know, they start accepting it in their business and they start using it. Maybe they do some more investment in it, etc., and they get involved. Um, I think we're now at the stage where this industry requires a lot broader approach. You can write the code, but no one can bloody use it because the user interfaces suck. So. Who's a graphic designer in this room? We need you. Who's a user experience and user interface designer in this room? We need you. Who does marketing? Sales. Customer service. Right. So it gradually expands. So more and more you see um, different areas. I met this guy the other day at the conference, and he said, "I really want to get into Bitcoin. I'm not really sure I did. I'm not a programmer." 
what do I do? I said, what do you do? So I'm an accountant. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We need 10,000 accountants today who are willing to even talk to us once we say the word Bitcoin. I have to file my taxes. <laughs> and that's a long form. Um, Gradually, we're going to reach out. So, um, all of the skills that are involved in any high-tech startup business, in any retail-focused business, in any business that has online e-commerce, but more interestingly, now we're beginning to see the arts, creative people, musicians, painters, um, just a whole range of people in the creative arts. And why? Because. One of the amazing things about using Bitcoin to promote or get paid for art and artistic expression is that it allows you to bypass the intermediaries. You have an audience, not Facebook has an audience on your behalf. You have an audience, not YouTube on your behalf. And so um, there are a lot of artists that I've worked with who are beginning to realize that the power of this technology is that it connects them directly to their most fanatical audience, you know, the biggest fans, and, and that's a great way to, to use it. So this is going to spread to every aspect of life. Um, on my way to the airport to come to Bali, I'm sitting in the taxi, and um, I was talking to my colleague, and I said, you know, um, Ethereum is really tanking today. Uh, Bitcoin's still quite stable. And the taxi driver goes, did you say Bitcoin? He <laughs> said, yeah. Have you heard of it? Heard of it? I've been mining for three years. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> That's only the third time I've met someone in an Uber, who, or a taxi driver in general, who had uh, any idea what Bitcoin was. Uh, but at the end of that ride, they got a tip in Bitcoin. You bet on it. <laughs> Thank you.